Really? You're not scared to eat here? When I eat, it is the food that is scared. One way fast food chains cut costs and boost productivity is by using meat that has been pumped full of antibiotics. Several U.S. governing bodies monitor the fast food restaurants on their use of and policies regarding antibiotics in animals. With the reports, the restaurants get graded on a high school basis. A is good and F is very bad. Based on those reports, we have put together 10 fast food chains that condone the overuse of beef antibiotics by policy. Literally killed a guy last year. You had me at meat tornado. Burger King, F. When many of us pop into our local fast food restaurant, the use or overuse of antibiotics in beef is probably one of the furthest things from our minds. The use of antibiotics in beef doesn't sound that bad, but it is actually extremely harmful, not just to the animal, but to us as well. What happens is, the livestock is pumped full of preemptive antibiotics in order to prevent the animals from getting sick. Because these animals are healthy, the bacteria actually become resistant to the antibiotics, especially when they are overused, and these super viruses are not only harmful to the animals, but they can then be passed on to humans too. We're facing a new strain. One way to stop this from rising is for restaurants to keep vigilant about where they get their meat from and how the animals are raised and treated. Many reports by several governing bodies now focus on that very thing, and unfortunately, a lot of our favorite fast food restaurants do not meet the standards they should. You failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. Propping up the bottom of the latest report that focuses on the overuse of antibiotics in beef is Burger King. The fast food giants don't seem to have any policies in place with regards to sourcing their beef. Also, Burger King didn't participate in any surveys and refused to answer any questions about their beef policies. As much as we all love a Whopper, Burger King needs to improve this aspect of their brand ASAP. So you failed. Dairy Queen, F. A capital F. While Dairy Queen may be known all over the world as serving the best ice cream around, as well as their truly awe-inspiring blizzards, Dairy Queen also has an extensive menu that includes all manner of fast food favorites. Because of the popularity of Dairy Queen's meat products, it's surprising to know that they are sitting way at the bottom of the list when it comes to beef that overuses antibiotics and policies they have in place. Are you a believer in order? Order. With a failing F grade, Dairy Queen didn't actually allow the report to survey their beef sourcing policies and instead only showed information regarding chicken and pork, which was not the report in question. Furthermore, it seems that Dairy Queen, as with many other fast food chains, actually uses a loophole within the FDA guidelines when it comes to meat. While the FDA has made the use of antibiotics illegal when the animals are still maturing, it has not yet banned them from using antibiotics in healthy, mature animals to prevent them from getting sick. Many fast food and beef manufacturers are using this loophole as a way to get antibiotic beef into their stores, and this is one of the main reasons that Dairy Queen failed this report. It's another F. Oh no. I can't believe it. Starbucks F. Okay, we know what you're thinking. Starbucks isn't a fast food restaurant. However, Starbucks does sell some products with beef as the main ingredient. Because of this, Starbucks was included in the report and is included on our list. The coffee giants got a failing F grade for their policies to do with antibiotic use in beef. You have failed in every respect. The reason they got such a low grade is that they don't have a policy at all. While Starbucks doesn't buy that much beef or beef products, it still does buy some and therefore should have policies in place to safeguard its customers. Like this is the kind of stuff that's gonna get us in trouble. The fact that Starbucks doesn't have a beef policy is even more surprising given that Starbucks has a policy for everything else, including buying and sourcing poultry. We're hoping that Starbucks takes a good look at this report Take it one step up. and its grade and starts putting some new policies in place. Panda Express F Who am I kidding? I really am a failure. 
Since its first burst onto the fast food scene back in the early 1980s, Panda Express quickly became one of the most popular Chinese restaurants across the country. However, when it comes to their policy on beef, Panda Express is firmly at the bottom with a bad F grade, as they don't seem to have any policy at all regarding the overuse of antibiotics in beef, Panda Express ended up at the bottom of the pile with a big must-try-harder stamp to show for it. Try harder. Incidentally, a lot of the food on Panda Express's menu is chicken-based, and they do have a policy for that. In fact, most fast food restaurants have made huge strides when it comes to using antibiotics with chickens and how chickens are kept in general. It's just a shame that they don't have the same with beef. Hopefully, Panda Express will take note of this and strive to improve their policies with all food. I'm taking notes. Taco Bell. D. How did you hear about Taco Bell? The famous Tex-Mex restaurant has cornered the market in late-night snack food as we all pile into the car to grab a tasty burrito at 2 in the morning. It won't be surprising to know that Taco Bell uses quite a lot of beef, and in particular, ground beef, on its menus. On the recent report that governing bodies released on how fast food restaurants use antibiotic-infused beef, Taco Bell got a fairly respectable D. I passed! I got a D minus! I passed! However, although the D grade is a lot better than most fast food restaurants that were audited, the D grade was given mainly on their promise to reduce antibiotic beef, not on what they have already done. Taco Bell promised to reduce medically important antibiotics in beef by 25% by the year 2025. While this is a promising step forward from Taco Bell, they don't, at this present time, have any kind of general policy regarding its meat and how it's sourced, and in particular, the use of antibiotics within the meat. We're hoping that this is just the start for Taco Bell, and they will build upon this grade. The new quesalupa from Taco Bell! Get it with chicken, get it with steak! Wendy's D+. While the likes of McDonald's and Burger King may be a more famous and renowned burger fast food brand, there is something special about Wendy's. Wendy? Stay away! Darling? Light of my life. The old-fashioned burgers and style of food that Wendy's provides makes this a real comfort food kind of place that brings joy to us all. Because of the image that Wendy's has, it's nice to see the fast food queen receiving a passing grade with its policies on beef and the overuse of antibiotics. Receiving a D+, Wendy's currently gets 30% of its beef from farmers that have cut the use of Tylosin and other medical antibiotics antibiotics by over 20%. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? Right up there. That was high. And Wendy's vows to make more improvements in this area. Wendy's was also the recipient of the biggest wannabe superlative due to its efforts to change its beef policies, as well as publicizing its changes to antibiotic use in beef. Where's the beef? We hope that Wendy's can keep this up, and maybe next year they will be even higher up on the list. As soon as possible. Subway. C. You guys want to get Subway? Oh, man. Subway was, at one stage, the fastest-growing franchise in the world. Starting out as a small idea to sell good sub sandwiches, Subway exploded as people rushed to create their own favorite sub sandwiches. It's not surprising, then, that Subway is looking to improve its policies when it comes to buying and sourcing their ingredients. Back in 2015, Subway made a promise that it would source beef that is completely antibiotic-free by the year 2025. While while it has yet to fulfill this promise, or even be on course to fulfill it. I never, ever break that promise. Subway has, however, updated its beef policy in order to be more realistic in sourcing better beef. You're not working hard enough. I need results. Subway changed its policy to fit in more with the World Health Organization's guidelines, which concerns public health and well-being. For this, Subway earned a C on this report, which is not a bad grade. McDonald's C. Is 100% real beef a fact or a company? We bet you were thinking that McDonald's would be one of the worst, if not the worst, fast food restaurant. There is no denying that McDonald's is one of the biggest names in the world of fast food. 
food. Not only that, but they are actually one of the biggest buyers of beef in the entire country. Because of this, a lot of people look to McDonald's as a company that should be setting the standards. However, those famous golden arches haven't been doing well when it comes to their beef and using antibiotics. In last year's report, McDonald's was right at the bottom of the pile in the F category. Retest. Retest. Reet. This, however, seemed to make McDonald's pull up those stripy socks and take a good hard look at themselves. That seems to have worked, as McDonald's finds themselves climbing out of the F and way into the C category. The reason for their miraculous climb is to do with their new beef policy they have put in place. McDonald's is promising to audit its beef suppliers in regards to how the animals are kept and the antibiotic usage. They also promise to share their findings with the public and and give us all more information about the cows they source. Hey cow, moo! Panera Bread, A minus. What it, where it lies on the scale between decadence and health. While this famous bakery doesn't buy as much beef as most of the other entries on our list, it still has a policy in place that ensures that what they buy is of good quality. The report showed that 100% of the beef that Panera sources are all pasture-raised, grass-fed, and grass-finished. 100%? Yes. Because of their foresight on putting policies into place regarding the overuse of antibiotics in beef, Panera was awarded the Early Leaders Superlative in appreciation for its early beef policies. This isn't the first time Panera has been praised for its social conscience. In 2010, they operated a pay-what-you-can restaurant as well as using only free-range eggs, and they are very proud of the fact that their menus contain no GMOs or artificial flavors. No wonder Panera Bread got such a good grade on this report. Good job. Chipotle, A. Welcome to Chipotle. Thank you for your bravery. The Mexican Grill restaurant came top of the pole by quite some way. Famous for its Mexican-style burritos and tacos, Chipotle uses a lot of ground beef and other meats on its menu. According to this year's survey, the Mexican Grill restaurant is on top of its beef suppliers and usage. In fact, Chipotle regularly conducts its own surveys and audits into its beef suppliers. This includes detailed reports from farmers about how much antibiotics they use and what kind, plus regular farm inspections to see if the results are true. It's too good to be true. As of this year, Chipotle reports that about half of the beef they serve in the U.S. comes from 100% grass-fed producers. It seems that Chipotle was ahead of this and, as such, was also awarded the early leader superlative. Chipotle continues to be on top of where its meat comes from and how it is kept. The rest of the fast food industry can look to this Mexican grill as a bar setter. Good job. Really good job. Take another bite out of one of our other great videos and tap that screen. And if it's your first time here, show us some love and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.